Alright, day two of using this new software. This is my 1-1 one, one through 1-6 one, shot. So, let's go ahead and get up to that first spot. Oh, there, too, too fast. There we go. So, there's our first shot. Boom. Let's look at it again in slow-mo. Let's see what we got going on right here. I'm definitely shooting higher. I'm not shooting at the shoulder level like I was doing yesterday. But this sword is coming out at this angle. It should be more at this angle. And this elbow is here where it should be down here. So any work I keep my elbow in tomorrow. Got a, a quarter hip turn. This foot is back here. I guess he should be closer to here. The trade-off that goes with that. I'm not exactly sure it's worth it as short as I am. to get that shot up higher. We can already see that this sword is starting to come across here more and more as I focus on trying to get high. I need to remember to keep it down with my elbow closer in and my body closer together. Let's look at that again. Almost all the way from my force from shoulders. I'm prepping for that next shot. It means I'm hitting with my. I don't know, glancing over there for some reason. I'm thinking I'm getting a lot of hip rotation, I'm not. I see, there you go. That's what it should look like. I'm catching it. Nice and far back on the sword. We've got some height. I'm guessing an impact. My sword should look more like this and less like that. Hip had some good motion there. It's not a lot, but somewhat. Alrighty. Hopefully, start seeing some combos coming in here. Now, I was worrying yesterday about that armpit shot. Sort of pointless as a man with a shield, so I'm trying to come up with a wrap to replace it. You can see me here playing around with different wrap options. Come behind my back, and almost immediately I'm recognizing that that coming behind my back thing is not going to work. And also, step there you go. That's the one I like. Let's go ahead and look at that again. Right there. Take a snap, and I step around. And I throw. Hit the door on the way there, but let's look at that again. Slow-mo. So, have one issue here. I'm aiming up there. My sword angle is there. What I want is to be aiming up here. With the sword angle more like that. Also, eh, I've got some hip rotation. I'm sliding forward, which is nice, with my hip. Ooh. Come back. I'm coming behind my head for this shot. 
I know the thought process is to hide my sword from them, but I think that's a mistake. I got just the tiniest bit of rotation going on there. I need to be coming back more. I need to be pulling in. Alrighty, boom, boom. I practiced that a few times. That one has some nice pull to it. That does not. There you go. I'm sort of liking this one. Alrighty. Leg. Head shot, leg shot. Let's look at it in slow mo. Boom. Oh, there you go. There's our <laughs> hands even with air. My swords. Just not that great. Throw the shot. Step. Trying to pin their shield with this hand. I step around. I'm still having a pressure with this sword. The sword should be like this by now. As I come underneath their shield, I hope it's underneath their shield. Okay, there you go. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to rec. There you go. That's a little closer. I'm recognizing as I'm firing. And there's my head. There's the proper angle. Look at that hip rotation. I'm. <laughs> That's the best shot I've seen so far. And there you go, I'm practicing it. Just working on those three shots. There you go. Head shot. Great angle. If I could get this a little more down, that would be great. But you know, I'm happy with that. Keeping my face on target. Got a great amount of hip rotation, a full quarter circle there. Still coming behind my back with this point. I'm sliding it down my arm, trying to hide it from him. I think. This is the perfect shot for me. I think I've, I think I've got this one down. See so that perfect shot of mine. At speed. Well, as close to speed as I get. This. Get ready to do my onside offside. On, off. Feeling really good about that one. Let's see if I do it again. Good hip rotation. Alrighty, let's get right to the beginning of that shot. Slow it on. I throw it. Got a good height. I'm aiming at the head. My angle is good. I've got a good quarter of a circle of hip rotation before it occurs. I'm stepping down as we go to the second shot. Have a good half circle of hip rotation on that one. Yeah, I'm pretty good with it. I feel pretty good about that shot. That's, that's the my one four shot. So one, three, one, four, already. Let's look at this head armpit shot. So on, I throw it. Have you already seen issue here? I'm throwing it as I pass. My hand's at the right height. My sword's at a good angle. I'm liking that. I step. I throw. Throw it at this angle. I really should be throwing it more at this angle. I think this hand needs to be coming from here and over here before it starts motion moving. And I'm throwing it at the same time as the hip. There's almost no shoulder motion separated from the hip. 
I'm happy with that. Except for those angle issues. Throwing. I'm feeling I should be hitting now. Not where I am. Ah, they're there. Stepping full around. Coming over my head. Hands where it belongs. <laughs> and when I connect, I've got a nice deep angle. Got a nice deep angle. I think this is more appropriate to what I should be doing. Hopefully someone will tell me. Yeah. Take that again. I throw. I'm lying with the up along the head. Grab a nice deep angle with the sword. I'm halfway through my step as I connect. I connect. I come over my own head. Much less elbow in the way. And when I connect, I'm still hitting at a weird angle. It should be more like this. Oh no, it's coming in there when he actually connects. It looks like it's coming in nice and deep. Side leg, seat again, on side leg, on side leg. That one looks nice. I come in, I'm stepping with it, but it connects. It's obvious, though, that I'm definitely interested in something else. I'm hitting with the tip of my sword. I'm looking down at the leg that I'm about to target for. Sort of shuffling my foot. I'm not really moving it. I got some great hip rotation on that. I'm definitely moving again. I'm keeping this lined between my hip and shoulders. Nice and straight the whole time. Which is nice. It's not bad. Better than yesterday where I was doing it all on my shoulders. Alrighty. Back to some practicing on these headshots. Alrighty. Now that I've gone through it, boom, boom. So, boom. Good. So, let's look at that. Slow mo. Through the wrap. My elbow is locked. It's not good. I moved over instead of my hip motion. I've just got my shoulder. I'm just arming that shot. There's nothing there. I step. That's a good speed on this step. I go for the leg, but my hand, the sword's in the right area. My hand it should be there, not there. It should be on my hip. So I'm not very impressed with that shot. Now. There you go. Same shot again. Same shot again. There you go. Helicopter shot. Boom. There you go. Keeping that sword in front of my head this time. The whole time. My hand in front of my head. I could retarget that into their body. Great hip rotation. Boom. Got above their head. The sword's at an angle. I'm very happy with that one. Here we go again. Nice angle. Elbows 
blocking. I'm hitting before I step. I should be hitting now, not now. <coughs> now cut your shot. Alrighty. Now I see no angles there. Need to work on that. Yeah, let's look at that one more time. Boom. Boom. Well, if it connected, that'd be great, but same issues again. Hand is at the shoulder level, the sword's at the right angle.